right. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the stream. How are y'all doing today? Hope everyone is having a fantastic day. I know I certainly am. Welcome on in, everybody. Oh, my goodness. So excited to see you all today. All right, guys. So for today's dungeon, we have ourselves the Frenzied Choice. It's a medium difficulty swamp dungeon. Very, very easy to speed run. Um, there are only two required event rooms, really. Uh, although if you do a third one, you can avoid a trap, which is pretty cool. So there is that. Loot this week is the tech generator, the tech sleeping pod, the long neck rifle, and the tech gauntlets. Let's go ahead and hop right in. Helen, Scott, holy cow, it's Marius. Hello, Shane. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh my goodness. Welcome, everybody. Okay. Um... Everything branches out from this sort of central point. There we go. So I'm going to grab the loot crate off of here first. And then as usual, we are probably going to find ourselves doing... I don't know why, but this dungeon feels bigger than the others. I feel like I'm very small in this dungeon. Um, maybe it's just the size of the starting room is huge. Anyway, we're going to do uh, the optional areas First, that's kind of what I want to start with. Everything that's fully optional, which is basically this whole half of the dungeon. Uh, we're going to start with a Deodon room. Okay, here we go. Deodons. Holy cow, should you tame a griffin? You're only level 64. Um, If you share a name family with them... You can, and you absolutely should, because they're amazing. I love a griffin. <laughs> do, do, do. Don't get caught in the corner. There we go. These are not always easy to work with. Nice. This is going relatively quickly. We've got... We're overheating. I should have brought in some adaptogenics. I didn't realize this was a hot dungeon, but that's okay. Uh, it's a hot dungeon, guys. You're going to have to be combating that. What you use? Argentavis or Pteranodon? Uh, RG. RG almost every day. We are overheating, and that's not fun. Ah. Medical brews. If I get adaptogenics, I can and will take one. Alright, let's get and run down. Uh, there's a big loot run off of this. Oh yeah, it's going to drain my water too. Dang. That's a shame. Hit. Monkeys. Monkeys everywhere. Riot leggings. I really hope there's a water room somewhere in here. Okay. Prentice pump action shotgun. That's cool. Alright, and then we have a choice. Let's go up first. Did I go the wrong way? I did. I got turned around because of the poison. The smoke obscured it. A snail in the way. Poison in the way. 
Oh my goodness, I hate that noise so much. Do, do, do. I hate that it's overheating. That has me so stressed out. Ah. I forgot about it. Monkey. Ah! I love that. Okay, so that was the uh, tech building piece. Way up at the top left corner of the dungeon. King Gaming, hello. How's it going? <laughs> Holy cow. I... I am with you on that. The uh, the mini biomes, the sub biomes, and the arc swamp are rough. Ah, you are the worst. Pelagornas are so long; they fill up the whole dungeon. Can you get out of the way. Get out of here. Okay. Thing is, we have to go right past that and down here. He continues to be in the way. Eh. Okay. Two more loot crates down this way. Where am I? Over here. One. Ah, a water room, thank goodness. Oh. And I have to share it with a Pelagornis, of course. They're the worst. All right, let's go ahead and fill that. Fill that. I am going to take a medical brew now. I am plenty hurt enough for it. The Pelagornis is so in the way. Oh, my goodness. They're body blocking me. Okay. One more loot crate on this run. Then we can go back uh, up to the center room and do the next optional piece. Assuming I have enough health for that. Capros are the reasons why you won't go to swamps. Yeah, they're not great. It used to be worse. They used to make your game crash. Um, once they figured out the crash, though, it became tolerable. If you have good armor, it's not so bad, but certainly in the early game, the Capros are very deadly. Okay, there's a wall trap here. And on the other side, there is a loot crate. So many things are stepping on poison vents. It's obnoxious. <laughs> Wait for it. It should go twice here. That's my cue. Another water room, thank goodness. Not smart of me. All right, let's go. Let's get out of this this area. There we go. Uh, Rakami, me. How am I getting to play Arc on mobile? Because I play on an iPhone, um, so the iOS version still works because iOS is oftentimes backward forward compatible with a lot of its software. Um, that is not the case with Android. Android cannot play the game right now. It has been removed from the Play Store due to the number of changes that have been made to the operating systems. It's no longer compatible with uh, Android devices. So that's the issue at the moment. They are planning a huge revamp, so hopefully that'll happen soon. Um, they did say about June last I saw, so we'll see. Okay. All right, Juggernaut Spino, now we get to kill the Dimetrodons. No one behind me, is there? No, okay, we're good. Ow! 
Liar. I checked behind me. Oh, the clicking. This dungeon is just not treating me super well. Okay. Threat's been cleared. We're fine. Oof. Duh. Okay. Um, yep, we'll grab these loot crates. And a gilly. Turn. There we go. Thank goodness there's a lot of water rooms. This could have gone a lot worse. Alright, and then we have this guy. And there should be a swamp jump trap here. I might throw up a save. I'm gonna throw up a save real quick, guys. I don't trust myself today, especially not on those man those traps. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna happen. Don't know that that's gonna go well for me. Look at you, oh my god, spinos! Yes, yes, there is one singular spino in this week's dungeon, and it's pretty easy to get. So, you know, good times. All right. Ah! Okay. I did it. I didn't like it, but I did it. And down here, there are two premiums. Evil Cuddle Bear. Ooh. And three eerie candies. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, uh, no. Okay, I did it. Swamp jump traps are the worst because you got to take the whole thing in one. Unless you uh, watch the tile traps, but I'm like the worst at those, so I don't do that. Whee. All right, back up to the starting room again. This is why it's called the choice because you can go like eight different ways. Okay, you can go four different ways. <laughs> it's actually four. We're going to skip that one because there's a jump trap there that we can avoid. Um, we're gonna go this way, grab this loot crate. Toxic arrows, nice. Alright, so now we're gonna go and get the facility key. Already thirsty. Which is this direction. So we could go down, but we're not going to just yet. We're gonna go this way. This is actually a room. This is a Dilophosaurus room, so be aware. Um, 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 I don't know which one I want to use. I might just use my sword. Like, it would probably be faster to use my weapon, but... My, my shotgun, but eh. This is alright. Stand and swing. That's the method. Goat Panda, hello, how's it going? Loving G, if you have two male gigas, and guess what you found on Far Speak? A 435 male gig. Yeah, it seems like the game only ever wants to give you one or the other, never both. You know, you can never get a male and a female. Doctor, how's it going? Hope you're having a great day. Ooh, get some health back. Would have been faster to just shoot him, but, you know. It's half the fun. Ugh, come here. I want that one dead. There we go. Get back here. He thought he could run away from me. He was sort of correct. I'm pretty slow. He could. 
This heat is so killer. If you have adaptogenic serums, this is a good dungeon to use them on. Go Panda, you're now stuck in level 70, 79. You messed up the swamp cave. You did. How'd you mess up the swamp cave? Ah! That worked out. Alrighty. Loot. Ascendant Spino Saddle. Very nice, very nice. Alright, we're gonna go up here and get this loot crate. This should be the featured loot, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, tech generator. Nice. Those are pretty handy. Alright, and then we're gonna go this way. And then this way. Ah! There's a loot crate about halfway down, and then there's the facility key. There we go. And a trike saddle, and then all the way down here is the facility key. Yay. We've done it. We've made progress. Lovely. Facility key, uh, sort of in this location. It's after the Dilla room. You do have to do the Dilophosaurus room to do that. That is one of the required rooms, if you don't already have a key. Heck, if you have a key, you could technically do exactly one room in this dungeon to finish it. You wouldn't get a lot of uh, loot, but that's okay. Okay, we're gonna go this way. We're gonna go straight down, get this loot crate. Da, 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 da. Which is, oh, so handy. It's a water room. Good stuff. All right, we need food. There we go. I just pooped in this water and then drank from it, but that's okay. That's arc. That's an arc thing. All right, so we did that. Um, next up, we are going to do what is technically an optional event room but it guards a couple of loot crates and it's uh basically a workaround for a swamp jump and a wall trap so that i don't have to do a trap i can do an event room all right it's a growing trike threat so it ought to be fun <laughs> Oh, there he is. Just looking around. I'm like, I know it's a growing trike threat. Ah! I'm gonna run over here. Where trike? There he is. Interrupt him, shoot him in the leg. Oh, there he is. No, how'd you get past it? Okay, he didn't stun me anyway, we're fine. Ow. Alan, you just tried to access the dungeon on your server. No dungeon appears. It may be taking time to articulate out because it did appear on my single player. And normally if it hasn't appeared, it's not on the single player game as well. Which way am I going? Yeah, this way. I want to go this way. There's loot this way. No traps, just loot. Um, 
Yeah, that's strange, Ellen, because it's definitely out. So I wonder if it's an issue with the servers being slow. Or if there was some sort of issue um, with getting it articulated out to the servers as opposed to just released properly on single player. Hmm. Interesting. Scott, thank you so much for the super chat. You got arced on TC again. Game like tar, then dropped out with you over the ocean. Got killed seconds from shore. Oh, no. Scott, you have like the worst luck on that server. I'm so sorry. That's awful. Is it time that I remove the, the hardcore element from that server? I could change the difficulty and make it so that you don't die. Like, so that you don't lose all your levels and stuff, at least. You might still die, but you would keep your levels. I'll leave that up to you. I enjoy the challenge, but at the same time, like... When you're dying because of crashes and things, it's ridiculous. Alright, so there's a wall trap in that location, and we're gonna go around it. Um, we're gonna go up here... Because up here is a loot crate. Nope, you like the challenge. <laughs> Fair enough! I'll say no more about it. Alright, and then we're going to take this little... Well, I guess I didn't have to take this specific one. Either of these two would have worked. This way, over. Because that brings us out. There's a swamp jump just, uh, just up there. That we could have taken to come straight to this room, but I didn't want to do it, so I went around it. Okay, and then we're at the last event room. It's a Capro with Sarko minions. Juggernaut Capro. I expect him to uh to pounce me, so we're a Capro. I'm just gonna stand here with my sword and hit him. Uh, big Capra. Big Sarkos. They're huge! They make such funny noises. Okay. That's it. Uh, that is the whole dungeon. Um, go, go, go. where are they? There it is. So then, we have... This, which is lovely, because you have a facility door in the middle of a a trap. Do that. Wait for the... There we go. And then you have the boss room. There we go. That's it. That's the whole way through. It's fine. I'm thirsty again. I'm going to drink that. And then swap it out for a full one. Eat a little food. Start the weekly pursuit. And then throw up a quick save. Da, da, da. And then we'll do the, uh, the boss fight, which is a Dodic fight. So it should be pretty quick. Do we know the revamp date? You're excited about it? Revamp date should be in June, um, last that I heard. Fingers crossed. I don't actually know if that'll come out on time, but I do know that that was the last date that was released. Dodic. Oh man, I'm still overheating. Oh well. Hey, buddy. I want to get him. Ah! Get him over here. The thing about Dodix is they really handicapped him by making him only swing one direction. Pretty sure that's neither accurate nor nor realistic, but whatever. So as long as you stay on the left side, he's going to do a roll.
Ow. That hurt. If he wasn't rolling away from me, this would be a lot less painful. Just like a real, uh, Dodic. Just stay on his left side, he can't hit you. Hit him in the face, it's fine. Quit rolling. There it is. Whoa. He did like the Dota equivalent of a T-pose when he died. He just went like straight out with his arms. That was amazing. I love that. <laughs> doesn't show up on my server or yours, but it does on my single player. Okay. Interesting. I wonder if we could fix that. I will be teleporting out because it's hot. Hot, hot, hot. Um, Scott, you should. You should definitely breed a griffin from mine. I have plenty. I haven't mutated them on there, but I have plenty of griffins on there. You should definitely take one. Well, not take one, but breed one. Otherwise, I wouldn't have enough to breed from. Um, it's a lot easier than trying to find fresh ones. Especially when you keep getting reset. <sighs> um... Of course, Ellen. I'm glad I'm able to show you guys what's going on. I would bring in an adaptogenic this week. It is hot in there. It's not the worst. A couple of medical brews will get you through, but it's either more medical brews or an adaptogenic. You know, one or the other. Um, there are a couple of premiums. They are unfortunately guarded by a swamp jump trap, which is the worst. Those tile traps are terrifying. But otherwise, um, good stuff. And I got a tech generator blueprint, which is pretty cool. Nothing too exciting in terms of weaponry and blueprints, really. It's just that generator that I'm happy with. Yeah, those aren't even that great. Nah, it is what it is. Not too bad, though. Um, Khalid, the ARC revamp last I heard was scheduled for June. Um, it was released on a Snail Games... Uh, yeah, I think it was Snail Games. It was released on a Snail Games roadmap where they had a couple of things listed and other games that they do as well. Um, and the Arc Mobile revamp was set for quarter two of 2024, around June. So that's what we that's what we know. I haven't heard anything since then. No one is speaking about it, which is making me nervous. <laughs> I want them to say something about it. All right, guys. Thank y'all so much for watching and hanging out. I super appreciate it. Please remember to hit the like button on your way out, guys. It seriously does help me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. And I'm going to go ahead and catch you all in the next one. Signing off. This is the Iguana.